Good morning, everyone. And um, today is Wednesday. And so I kind of want to keep my Wednesdays for either um, retro type videos that are um, ephemera that I've made in the past from one of my old videos or find somebody that is new to YouTubing or, you know, crafting. Um, and so I did find a lady and her name is Ella J. And she is the most delightful person that I've listened to on YouTube for quite some time. I I don't know that she's for everybody, but she just, you know, she made me smile. And I it doesn't matter what she was making. I just enjoyed um, her voice and her thoughts and her love of God. Uh, just all that. So if you get a chance, I will link her. And if you get a chance to go over and see her videos. Now... What I'm going to do today is different than what she did. Not totally, but, you know, she used different papers and so forth. Um, so I'm going to try to replicate it. And I think I've done this before, but cannot remember for sure. So she used, I think she had a uh, 12 by 12 page. And she cut it in half, so she had 12 by 6. But I don't have a 12 by 12 that I really... Um, am in love with right now for my fall stuff. So I'm just going to use a regular um, digital paper and this one is coffee dyed on the on the back side. So what we're going to do is we are going to fold this in half. I hope I'm doing it right. I'm going to fold it in half. This is kind of what I did the other day. Um, let me get my score thing. Fold it in half and then we're going to fold it to the inside in half on this page. Now this is going to be probably a little too long because it's eight and a half by 11 so it, the pockets will be a little shorter. Uh, I'm just thinking, I wonder if I needed to go all the way if that would make a difference. Well, I'll just do it this way. I know that works. All right, then this gets folded nice like that. Now, we are going, I'm gonna cut this down. It doesn't look right. So I want this to be, I want it to fit in a journal page, so I don't want it uh, too tall. So I'm gonna do Let's do six and a half. I just feel like that's uh, for that height. I'm ending up with a two and a half height. So, I hope I'm doing this right. For some reason, I feel like I'm. Gosh, if I have to go watch your video again, I, <laughs> I may have to stop and go look. All right. Oh, I think it goes. I think it goes this way. So instead of folding it into each other, you fold it away from each other. And then you have this here. And then you have, so you have a pocket in here, and then you have two pockets on the outside. And I don't think that's the way she made it, but, uh, oh no, here it is. Okay, yes, it's supposed to look like a W or an M. So, fold this in half here, and we're gonna glue this together. Now I got you. I'm gonna glue just the edges as if they were a pocket. See, I don't think I need to glue the bottom, just the two edges. Okay. Okay. And then this part here that's folded, now we have this little bit like that. All right. 
If I hadn't glued it, I could have showed it to you again, but I'll make another one. Okay, so now we have this little flip here, and in this space we're going to uh, punch going to punch a little divot somewhere center. Now this is good for double-sided paper because uh, then your insides are um, both um, colored on, on all sides. But I'm just thinking I could change this and I could make this glued here and leave this open for journaling. I've got to cover that. My ink or, my printer didn't like uh, the ink. Let's see what would be easier to cover that one. That would be on the back side. Gosh, I think I'm going to try that. I'll do it a little different than she did. You can go over and watch her video. All right, so now we're going to trim this and this. And now we have a pocket here. This is the hard part about that when you do it this way. So there you have a pocket. And I think we were supposed to glue this part down as well. All right, so I want that to be the back. So because it's not um, designed on both sides, that would be good for journaling. Actually, all of this could be used for journaling. You could just leave it as it is, around the corners or whatever. But let's go ahead and make... I mean, it didn't even take her five minutes to make this whole thing. And then um, she has... Um, again, her name is Ella. I love that name. And it's Ella J, and the first thing that came to mind was Ella James. <laughs> and I said, I wonder if she can sing, <laughs> you know, in my own brain. And then it wasn't too much, a few videos down from that, I was starting to watch other videos she had. And she sang a little bit in one of her videos. And yes, she can sing. Isn't that, that's just amazing. I love it. Okay, so this is going to be the front of that one, and then we're going to have a pocket here, and if I want, I can glue these and make another pocket back here. I'm just going to have to probably make sure I um, put a tab or something on the, on the pocket. I watched her. She did a snippet roll, um, all kinds of stuff. It was really, really cute. Okay, so should I round the corners, do you think? I guess not, because if I, I don't think I can round that part. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay, so there we have three pockets. And if you glued this one, you'd have even more. But I think that's enough. Okay. So let's see if we can embellish it. Um, 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 um. She was very, um, um, I can't explain it. She just had the right stuff. And it was, a lot of it was Dollar Tree and things like that. I'm going to put something like that, and maybe, um, we have these little tabby things. I don't want anything too thick. 
All right, let's, let's go with this mushroom. I think I inked it, but let me do it again. So I've been trying to watch all these little videos of, you know, people that are new or maybe they're not so new. They just haven't been found yet. And um, so uh, my subscribers have been sending me messages of people that they found. So I probably have enough now to last me uh, for a couple of years. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people out there in the video world. Okay, so I'm going to put that. And then all I need is something to go up here. And maybe I'll just get some uh, fabric of some sort. I might. Put something in there like that. Hmm. I don't know. Just cut a little piece off of this. I've gotten away from little things that I used to use all the time to embellish with. So I get that piece like that. I could sew I could sew, you know, just a stitch down that to give it a little bit more. And I need something up there, so maybe just a word. Um or label. red in there. I don't think I'm going to like a label up there for some reason. Maybe I should move this up here and label down here. Yeah, I think that's looks a little bit cohesive that way. Okay, so let me put some glue on here. It doesn't have to be all held down with tons of glue. So today it's only 65 this morning. It's been a long time since it's been 65 out. And it is um, overcast though. I don't like 65 overcast. I like 65 in the sun. Still, probably from that storm, I just still can't get over the North Carolina and Tennessee I mean it could have been me I'm just just south of all that we got we got the rain but and the wind but we I guess um parts of Georgia got it pretty bad though maybe the southern parts I don't know every time I turn on the news they show the same thing over and over and 
you know, you can't even find out about your own region, what's happening. Okay, so there's that. Journaling spot. That's kind of hard to get out of that, to get that pocket open. I'm trying to think, what can I use? I wanted to just cut some journal cards. Oh, I didn't know that had the berry baskets on it. I didn't like those. Mm. Oh, well. Get my pen and my glue are already struggling. So anyway, I hope that everybody has weathered the storm the best that they could because it's doctor's appointment tomorrow and they they won't let you I mean you have to check in and pay and all that stuff online you don't have to but you know I feel like you should all right I'm just going to put this little card in here to remind me to go back and sew and then I think next time I'll only open up one side not both. And then I need another card in that. I don't know if I have it in that size. That's too big. Okay. Well, I didn't want to dwell on just that. Um, so that's cute. I'm just going to use that as um, a little washi tape over the top of that. I'm going to use this in one of the fall journals. And I think I'll just put a tab. I might cut this a little smaller since the glue was down there. Trim that off. put a tab on it. No, I'll put a tab on that one. I'm going to have a, another uh, journal card. Let's see, I've got this one. I just printed some... i got to cut that off because that was probably a glitch in my computer when I uh, changed it. When I had to... When I lost all my files, some of them were corrupted. doing this now because otherwise um, I won't get back to it or I get all done and then I'm like oh my gosh I gotta go sew all these I've got to back them you know here. Yep, nope. I'll cut it down more. I wished I was good with scissors. So 
much easier just to pick up scissors and cut. Okay, I wonder if this is big enough for a punch. I think I need one and a half, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, that's good. really don't usually glue this on first. I usually put them on after, but I'm just going to kind of put it, get open the pocket, right? on this side, the Puyo side. Okay. Just kind of see how that works. Yeah, I like that. It's always cute to have something sticking out the side, I think. All right, so there's that one. Two of these open now because I don't know which one is the. Uh, that's 224. Honestly, think this one's older than that. Um, they last a long time. I was just thinking if I could make another one. What time is it? 22 minutes. You know, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop here with this one and. Um, let me fold it one more time and see if I can do it. So this was folded up. I'm just doing this coffee dyed. And that way it can go into uh, any journal. And it's pretty dark, so I haven't used it for a page. So we're folding the two into the center. Let's see if I can get this correctly. Okay, now you're going to have this W, and then this is going to be glued together here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut it down first. Now, if you did a six inch one because you used a um, scrapbook paper, you could do that. It would be much easier. And she didn't really mention the size paper that she used, I don't think, unless I missed it. But Okay, let's see. So you've got these two that are folded like so, and then you've got this one that stands up in the middle, and that's where you glue it on the sides. And I guess you need to glue around one of the bottoms. I never know for sure, so I don't want to glue it until I'm pretty sure that's what, where it goes. Okay. 
And then we're going to put a notch in here. Oh, we have to put a notch in both sides. I get it. Be Oops. Because they're glued together. That's okay. We'll just do it that way. And maybe the thicker the fabric, I mean, thicker the paper is, it's easier to get apart when you punch. Okay. I think I'm just going to do the same thing. Leave that journaling and put this as a pocket back here. Just kind of, you could journal, you could have journaling on both sides. I think that would be handy to do. But I like that it opens up and then your journal card goes in there. So I'm not gonna make one for that right now because like I said, this could be for anything. But isn't that easy and it's so cute. I, I just, I think I made it, but I one time I don't remember for sure, but I feel like I did. All right. So let me see here. I've got a few minutes left. Clean up this a little bit. Um, where's that little envelope? Oh. in there when I need it. Okay. These, I found these in my um, stash and I think that was part of a collage that we did on the stash go. So I thought maybe I could use these because these are kind of, you know, fallish colors somewhere. Okay, I'm going to put this in my... Yeah, I'll put it up here for now. Okay, so here is the cover. And I, I'm hoping that you like this. I feel like it's maybe a little too white and... I, I stamped this along this edge, um, which I thought, you know, I was going to put lace, but I didn't. And then I thought I would put this here, and that would be our closure. I would just put some uh, seam binding or something lightweight, I think, as the closure. So I haven't done that yet, but I guess I'll get brave and do it. This is one of the buttons I made. Um, and I made some more actually not a few days ago for my uh, slow stitch and um, I thought I got some new watercolors they're well they're not watercolors they're inks and they're uh, uh, called ink tents I think the name of the company is like Dermont or Dumont Dermot or something. All right, I'm just going to stick that on there. And um, I thought I could ink these after I made them and they would hold the color. But I put a varnish over them because last time it absorbed so much of the ink. But the ink won't stick to it so now next time I make them I'll know yeah see because you need to close this now I could have put a piece of velcro or something I haven't glued this on yet I originally was going to cover it with some of my tissue paper and or napkin and just kind of so you could still see it which you know I can go up or down doesn't or I can center it and so what I did is just lay things on here collage and I put one of Kathy's leaves the fabric one that she sent me on there and I was trying to 
do a stem. That's what I was doing with this originally. Don't know, what can I use as a stem? You know, somewhere I have like sticks. Um, oh my goodness, I don't know where they, I collected them out here. Look at, no, that's too big. That was gonna go on a spine or something or on the side of a page. That looks kind of cool. The sticks are kind of, and I would have to, I think my sticks are too, if I put that on there, I'd like it. Attach it without. Okay, I'll have to think about it. It's a little leaf, gold leaf. Wonder how that would look. Oh, I don't know. attached to this. I don't know how. I guess this was maybe advertisement or something. I do kind of like that black tie going through there. Let's, let's see. I should put that with my fall stuff. Of course, you can have a leaf in anything, right? It doesn't have to be fall. Okay, so if I was to, let's see, tie that around there. This is, oh, it is elastic. I don't want it to pull the book in that much. So if I do it, I'd have to just do one. Oh, and no, that was for something else. I had like one of these I was thinking of adding. Just, you know, real collage -y. But I... Hmm. I really do like those sticks. I might go outside and see if I can find some other ones. And then wrap the wire around them, but I'll have to make sure that they're flat. So it seems I was going to put this on a spine. Just playing here. Yeah, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so that could go there. I'm just going to Leave it like that for now. Come on. There we go. Don't lose that. All right. So inside here, I have a journal card. Yeah. I don't. I want to add something here. Oh, and I have the pages. Did I already put those in here? No. So these go here, like so, on this spine back here. And um, so I thought I want something here. Mm, what, what? I just don't seem to have the right... Um, flowers or something. Somehow I'm getting these mushrooms. Oh, I love this bird card. That is going to go somewhere. I don't know where. Um, 
these are all tags okay so this is a pocket this is a pocket so I thought I could use up these little items in here You know, just as um, it's going to have all these writing spaces, and I do have some, um, you know, um, extra style of uh, journaling ephemera, like that we made. So to use up these little. Lopes pockets. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah, I was going to put that somewhere, I think. And this Etta, uh, Etta J, she, um, I think that's how that goes. Oh, I should have punched. Yeah, maybe I can slip my punch in there. I usually try to put my pockets closer to the bottom so that no matter what card I end up putting in there, it fits. A notch. I didn't even ink it. I'm kidding. This I'll come back and sew and put an eyelid or whatever. Okay. Another pocket, another pocket. These are I think I cut those in half. This this is like a specimen card. Let's see. This is an envelope I put in. I made the envelope uh, with my envelope maker and did I glue it in already? No. Um, I cut the edge of that envelope off, this top, and glued it to the back side. And then I'm going to put it on a hinge like this. Only because I want my pocket to be used that way. Not this facing the other, the front. Or the inside. That's a good journaling. Journaling, journaling. This is just a piece of interest, that page. journaling anybody was, would be doing in this book. I 
really love those birds, but I don't think they're quite good with that. Oops. pocket there. This is from a different kit. I think this is from Vintage by Me. I don't like that one with the red. I kind of like this one. I'm really at a loss because I'm so used to collage type having, I mean, not, not to be, let's see, okay, where's the other one that's this size, or did I use it already? make one cut this down a little bit and I don't know if I want to make I'm just gonna do it this way I'm gonna make it this Well, you know I put a mark on here. so I can glue it down. I'm doing this on Monday and this video is for Wednesday just because I had it kind of ready to go. So and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so don't know if I'm going to get one out for Tuesday because I'm doing Wednesdays, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know. And if I, if I have a doctor's appointment, it's like I ruin the whole day because, you know, to be in here working because then I'll stop and do some pick up medicine or groceries or all that other stuff because I'm out out in the neighborhood. Cut that a little bit smaller. Okay. I like this because you can still journal up in here. And I'm probably going to add something else to this. I don't know what I don't want that I'm tired of looking at it let's see I thought I had another reddish orange hmm. just a label would look nice one color Okay, I 
I kind of like this there, but I kind of like this there too. Okay, I'm going to put this one up here. And then I'm going to let you guys go because I'm running out of time. something behind it. I kind of like that. That's just very simple, but it's kind of effective. need to be flat just needs to be on there and then I'll probably sew the signatures in <clears throat> off camera because they're no fun to watch watch me be frustrated it is not fun But I, this is a good time of year to do folios, I think. This and Christmas. Because, you know, you it's a short time that you use it. And so, I wonder if I should have inked around those. That might look a little better. dimension there all right so there we go and that's going to go on that side and that will be sewn in and then I'll just come back and um, figure out some other stuff to put in I might have to print more these are like those little find any use for those little coin pockets and these little pockets here with the holes out I guess they're specimen cards I don't know I can do them back to back maybe and just tuck them in somewhere put a butterfly in the middle that'd be kind of cute or maybe one of those leaves that would be pretty that I just had. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will see you. And there's that one I was looking for. Okay, so I can use this for another pocket. This, you know, that's the one I wanted to use. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where, but um, even a journal card would be good there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get the front probably glued on. 
I hope I love it when it's done. I think it's, I think it's cute. Except the stem. I may have to go out and pick a stem out and then I can just hand stitch it on here or put a few stems up here. I think that was pretty cute too. I have this set of keys. They're all stuck together here. But I kind of think twigs would look better. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Uh, go check out Ella J. Tell her that I sent you. Um, she probably doesn't even know who I am. But, um, yeah, I would love for you to go see her and just get inspiration and get um, a smile on your face. And, yeah, you know, she just seen, uh, is very delightful. Very, very delightful. And I was so excited to uh, to find her channel. And she has over 200 videos, but she only has two no, she has 400. I wrote it down. What did I write? Or did I tell you? I don't remember. Uh, where did I write it down? I have another list. Oh. Uh, 422. And she has over 200 videos. So that's not very much uh, for that amount of videos that she's already done. So, okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.